Today in this video, we're going to show you how to download the Silver Turbo's remote ECU flasher. First thing you need is a Windows-based computer and an internet connection. Go to your Internet Explorer, go to Silver Turbo's website, just silverturbos.com. On the home page, you'll see a tab for the remote ECU flasher. Just click that, it'll redirect you to the new page. On this page, you'll see the flasher drivers download and the re silver remote flasher download. You need to download both these to your PC. So we'll start with the flasher drivers. Just click that, it'll automatically start the download. Just agree to all the prompts. Finish the download. Next, we'll download the Silver Remote Flasher. Again, just click on it. Once it's done downloading, we'll execute it to the PC. And agree to all the prompts. This one I like to create a desktop shortcut. That way it's right on your desktop when you want to use it. Click finish. Once you've downloaded both the drivers off our website, you'll want to open the Silver Turbos Flasher from the desktop. Enter in all your information, first name, last name, email address, company name if you have one, and then the payment ID, you'll actually retrieve this from us. You'll have to call us for the payment ID or send us an email to get the payment ID. Once you successfully log in with all your information and payment ID, this is what the Silver Turbos app will look like. Just keep in mind you'll have to contact us so we can connect to the app and initiate the flash. After contacting us at Silver Turbos, with your computer ready, connect to the Wi-Fi, Silver Turbos Remote Flasher app open. Sorry, I'm not sure you'll connect. Notice the light went to green. That means you're ready to flash. So we're going to prompt you to hook up all the cable connections. So here I got the ECU power up cable, which on this Articat here goes into this two pin bullet connector. You'll need a 12 volt battery. Any 12 volt battery will work. You'll do power and ground. Um, on these Articats, we suggest disconnecting the hood harness. That way you're not powering up the headlights and draining your battery during the flash. So we'll hook up the battery. You'll hear the ECU power up and the exhaust valve servo motor click. The diagnostic plug is connected to the flashing cable. Flashing cable connected up to the laptop. Once all that's done, we'll initiate the flash on our end. Flashing of the ECU itself only takes a few minutes. Agree. Even if it says failed or ended unsuccessfully or successfully, everything worked. You'll hear the ECU click at the end of the flash. After that, you're all done. You can close the app, disconnect all your cables from the sled, and you're ready to go.